Good morning, it's Tuesday, start of a new week. Um, I've, got, I've also brought a few goodies down as well, which I'll show you them in a second. Um, I've just came into the top greenhouse and a bit of bad news. Um, uh, I've left the the paraffin heater on to keep the, to keep the room warm. And sadly, um, I just refilled it, which is this is another lesson that I've learned. Uh, I filled the paraffin heater up and I didn't give it time to settle or for the paraffin to soak up. So what I thought I was leaving on a small small flame has turned into a rather large flame and it's uh, created a lot of black soot coming out the top so the whole back room is now very dark because of the black soot so first job i'm going to get done this morning is give that a lot of wipe down and see if we can let some more light in so I'll show you that once after getting it done, but I've got a few things to get done, so I'm gonna get cracked on and I'll catch you in a bit. that I need to uh, rake it over then when it gets a bit dry I'll dig it in it's a uh, it's five year old plus uh, cow manure which I remember shoveling in to my granddad's allotment when uh, before I even had this one so should be really good stuff that's the uh, the muck put on the beds like you've seen um, what I've done also is I've grabbed a couple of lengths of uh, wood as well when I've been spreading this out and what I did was I've just put the boards right in front because I had a bit of a heap so I put the board right in front cut that bit put that in join it together and just uh, pegged it in with really long pegs so that's not going anywhere now I've screwed them in and put them more secure when I get a chance and that's that bed level off as well Huge. So that's the uh, top with horse manure, uh, cow manure, sorry. That's that one done. Um, this one on this side, what I'm going to do, I've got told that this was chicken manure. It's actually not, it's pigeon manure, which is very acidic. So uh, what I need to do here is I need to scrape off the top. Scrape it all off, I'll put it on the garden elsewhere, um, and just uh, I'm going to water it, water whatever's on top once I'm finished down. Um, so I'm going to level this off. Then probably tomorrow or another day I'm going to get some more. Now three barrels of horse muck, um, the cow muck, and uh, pop it on the top of here and let it do its thing. And then in a couple of weeks from now I'll start feeding again, um, ready for what I'm going to be putting in here. I know that side, my giants are going in, my leeks, and uh, on this side I'll see what happens when it comes to it, but I want to get this uh, soil right. Um, I was having a look on one of the Facebook sites the other day, um, and I noticed that somebody bought like trenches, like, like metal tin, corrugated cheating sort of thing, but it come as a kit. Um, what I'm thinking of is to uh, get one, I think they're 18 quid on Amazon, I've got it saved on my phone. And what I'm going to do is, hopefully if I can, if I can get the length, I'll get uh, either one trench or two trenches put in here. So I'll get one there and one there. Then I can have a domino effect when we leak. So one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, so on and so forth. Um, and that should maximise the amount of many the amount of leaks I can get in this trench. Um, but that is the plan at the moment. Let's see what happens when it comes to it. Um, but uh, it's just one of the jobs I've getting done so far. I need to get the top sur surface off the top of there. And uh, but that's that done now. I wait for a dry day and I'll get that rotivated in. 
So, a couple of treats I've brought down. A pack of gladiola and the shake and rake dwarf mixture. So I'm gonna get them after sprinkled across. Uh, I might even make boxes, um, just so I can do it in boxes instead of just sprinkling it all over, so it's all over the place. Yeah, I'll see what happens, I'll have a think in a couple of minutes. Um, I actually found another pack of gladiola, which I bought for 50 pence last year, so I've left them two at home, and I'm gonna plant them in the back garden. I've already got a row of gladiola, they're still in there from last year, so it's just down here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pop these ones across here. Then uh, we'll see what I've got left. So I'm going to pop them in. I'll pop them in, pop them in. Then uh, I'm going to have a look through all the seeds. I've brought these seeds back from home. And I'm going to get them set up and sorted, ready to go. Just like I have with the ones in the back there uh, in the little boxes. So month by month I'll get sorted with them. Right, so what I've done is I've um I've done the I've spread of them stuff out, the dwarf mixture shaking rake. So what I've done here is I've um I've gotten some of these larger pots to put some of these leaks on. Um I've oh I've already filled them up and using one of the pots I've already measured out. I've had them soaking for about 10-15 minutes, so I'm gonna quickly uh, pot these on. Um so I'll crack on with that. It's just gonna be I mean all the hard work's already been done. You can see the it's got a good root system on that one. Stick that in there. Push it in. Compost mix. I've just got uh, what was a clover compost, and I've used some uh, charge and also some myco as well. sorted out and then uh, that's me done um but never mind my phone's about to die so i'm signing off for today um tuesday i'll be back down tomorrow um to get some more bits and pieces done i am going to focus on getting the ta water tank sorted out for tomorrow and um, so i'll get that drilled and cut so we'll see how things go with that um so yeah i'll catch you tomorrow what you are doing I was going to sign off, but um, I've came home and a nice surprise at the door is them uh, them uh, Swan River Daisies have come. Thanks very much, Jeff Foreman, for them. Um, they've arrived safe and sound, and the first thing I'm going to do with them is get them put in. So, thanks very much for that. Uh, as you can see, they arrived safe and sound, so I'm going to get them put in in my tray. I'm just going to have a double check just to how Jeff does them. Then. Uh, I'm gonna get them put in as well to go along. Try and find some space on my uh, my flower bench, the thing that's uh, on this side. All of them, all flowers. So I need to get all them. <laughs> I need to find a space for them to go up there, and we'll uh, we'll see how things go from there. So yeah, once again, thanks very much, Jeff. I'll see how they go. Uh, just what I've done is while I was in here, I've uh, potted up my gladiola that I had. The I had 40 all together to go in the back garden down here, and I've took them 20 down at the allotment earlier on. So I've just potted them in just to get them started off in the small uh, pots and also in these trays. I thought I didn't have any more of them, but I've just found some under here. <laughs> it's always sods low, isn't it, till afterwards. Um, but uh, Swan River daisies are in there. Um, that's that done. I've given everything a spray. Um, I've given me leaks of spray with the back off. Sorry, I fell over there. <laughs> um, give me leaks of spray with some back off. Um, and the onions as well, that's there. And they're just ticking along nicely. So, I say that's me done for the day, so thanks, uh, and I'll catch you tomorrow. Good morning. It's now Friday. I've had a couple of days there doing things uh, elsewhere. Um, so, today I want to get done is I've getting all my stuff ready for my fire. So, I'm going to get the greenhouse sorted out, ready to be put in. I've just checked everything out, and everything seems to fit all right. I just need to get sealed up and stuff like that. Um, so I'm going to make a start by tidying up the area where I need to be at, and then uh, I'll get crack on from there. Right, so what I'm going to do first is I've cleaned this uh, this little bit up here, 
the pipes are going to go through through that section through there into the back section um what i've getting is i'm getting some i'm getting some radiator hose pipe which is 30 millimeters the top one's 28 here so i'll be putting a little bit on there like that and i'll be putting some on the bottom as well and i'll be jubilee clipping them so they're nice and tight and they don't uh, don't move off there and i'll be cutting it and i'll be sliding the end into the scaffold pipe that i've got then sealing that up from this side as well and um, then they will go through a hole which i'll cut through there through into the top section where all the stuff is under there to sit in that corner i'll bring that i'll bring that uh, a little bit further this way so i'm going to clear out under here as well so i can get in um what i have getting is i'm getting my gas tank my gas bottle so what i did with this is i filled it up full of water and um, all the way at the top let it sit for 24 hours then i proceeded to cut the top section off so as you can see we're empty here we've got a lid it's on there and what I need to do is once I get it sorted and settled I'm going to pop it into its place and I'm going to mark out the holes where the scaffold bars need to go through drill them out drill them out and slide this poles in and seal it up around the edges and that'll be them sitting there now there's going to be no pressure in these this system so I don't have to worry about uh, anything like that so be, um, I don't have to Basically, that's all I need to do, really. Um, and when I want to fill it up, I can either fill it up from this end, or I can fill it up from the other end once I get uh, some pipes put on that side as well. So I'm going to make a start by. Uh, let's see, I've tidied, tidied that section away. So I'm going to make a start on the air, moving the stuff out of the way. Um, I'll nick a hole down there. I've also got to make some stands which will hold the pipe work. I've already got an idea for that. But we'll uh, see how things go with them. Well, yesterday didn't really turn out. As well planned as I thought it was going to be, ended up getting called away. I was only here about an hour and a half. I managed to get the pipes and everything in here. Um, I also managed to mark up on the tank where I want the pipes to go. I managed to drill one hole out, I just need to bore around the edges, and also my battery died on my drill. So I'm going to get crap on with that today, get the other hole drilled out, get the pipe work and everything in place. I've got to build two free stands for the pipes to sit on. Um, and also I just need to get it all sealed up and everything like that as well so hopefully I get all this done in the next couple of hours and um, I've got no distractions nothing to get pulled away from and um, so hopefully I get that sorted out uh, I've also brought down the leaks that were sitting on my windowsill them off the, the cast offs um, and <laughs> the difference between them is absolutely amazing and um, I think next time round next year all my windowsills I was just going to get uh, laden with uh, with all the leaks instead of having them under the lights because they've grown naturally and they've grown absolutely fantastic I'll show you them in a second when I bring them in because I've brought them down to the garden today because I'm going to take a couple of the cumbrians out pot them into large pots and I'm going to put the air um, I'm going to put the ones I've got here uh, in air pots um, because they're better leaks and I'm going to take them back home and put them back on the windowsill um, as I've made space for them now uh, so I'll pull these down from there I'll show you them leaks before I make a start then uh, I'm going to get cracked on and get the, uh, the rest of them holes dug on the tank uh, and hopefully get that sorted out today. So I'll uh, I'll pull it down from there and show you these. So these are the leaks I've brought down from the front from the front windowsill. This one definitely needs potting up because I've got them just in the small the small pots. I'm going to get that potted up into a larger pot for the time being. Um, but these two are the ones I want to show you. So as you can see, I've got me me my sharpie pen in there for to show you the difference so the they're, they're really clean as well now they've got nice big flags on there nice big flag i'm over the moon with these ones and these are the these are the cast offs um the ones i've got, already got potted on i mean they're the cumbrians there the ones in these air pots are the cumbrians i just brought down and left in here um and these are the rest of the the giants which i had brought down because i've got half of them at home and wait, I've got, I've got how many I've got home? I've got six at home. Um, because I can only fit ten air pots in me in my grow room at home. So I've potted these into these bare uh, rose buckets like I did in the previous videos. Um, to put two in here, two in there, just to save a bit of compost. 
and there's one at the back there as well and as you can see the differences between them this one's a lot bigger <laughs> I mean they're all clean but this one has had the natural light for weeks and weeks now and they've been sat in my windowsill at home and of course these ones have been down the garden I will be separating these off because I need to, I need to clean them up as well but um, that this has had no spray it's been fed from the bottom I've just got a couple of rice containers you get from the takeaways I bought a, uh, bought a pack of them and I've just sat them in and I mean you can see that it's got a bit of algae on from where the sun's been hitting it but I've been using tap water with these ones as well um, the, roof, just, the roots in there try and find better you can see there so well, I'll I'm going to pop them up and I'll show you what the, the root systems and stuff are like I'm going to have to nick these as well because they're uh, the buttons are pretty high on them so I'll nick these as well um, but I'm all the move them Right, to get this fire sorted out, I've moved that base a little bit closer because the pipe works not as long as what I thought it was going to be. Um, so I've built the platform. The pipes are going to be not level, they're going to be just slightly raised so that the water's going back and forward when the heat's up, it circulates around. But um, next task, I'm going to get cracked on with, I'm going to get on with the, I'm going to get on with the tank now. I've had to pop home because my drill has died um, so I'm busy uh, charging that up while I get sorted out so while I'm here just to show you um, I'm in obviously I'm in the greenhouse in the back garden here um, I popped the Wilkinson's yesterday and I managed to pick a few more of the cheap seeds and stuff up um, sods low they had some Swan River daisies in um, but like I said in my previous uh, earlier on there um, Jeff was very kind to send us some over and I managed to get them put in the other day as well um, so I didn't bother picking any more up. I did actually buy some as well on eBay, which I forgot, but they're a different variety of uh, Swan River. Um, and I've got them planted and potted up as well. Uh, luckily, I've just noticed as well with this with summer coming up in the back garden, when I mentioned in previous video, um, the sun doesn't really hit my greenhouse in the back garden until around about springtime. Um, luckily, so I showed you in the past, the sun comes up over there just hits the top of them and it comes over the top and misses my house the sun's just peering over the top so I'm starting to get a bit more sun through the through the day now and it's uh, it's just managing to hit the top the top shelf here so these are now starting to get some sunshine as well which is great so what am I getting so I've picked up some geranium I've picked up some different types of libelia as well so I'm going to get these uh, these sown and I'm going to sow them in these kind of trays here save a bit of compost and I'm just going to sow them in just rows like that so I'm going to pull them out I'm going to get them sorted and I'm going to sow them exactly the same way that Jeff does his so if you want to have a check, uh, check have a check at Jeff, uh, Jeff's YouTube videos um, then he's like I say, I'm just following him when it comes to the bed and plants and everything this year because I've never grown them before. So um, all he does is just, uh, he's got his sand, he's, he's got his uh, compost and it's uh, chop sand mix. Um, just puts a bit in the trays, feeds the water them from the bottom as well. Um, just puts a row and put row lobelia over the top, done, sorted. So I'm going to do mine exactly the same way as his. So I'll, uh, I'm going to get them done and I'll catch you in a bit. Okay, so what I've got here is, I've got some, like I mentioned, I've got some lobelia. I've got two different varieties. I've got string of pearls and I've also got some sapphire pendula. So what I've done here is, I've got these little trays, which I've managed to get five of them into one of these large seed, seedling trays. You can just use the seedling trays themselves and just put grooves in. Um, but I've just find these a bit more simple to sort out. Um, so I've put some compost in. Um, I've then getting my dibber and just put a small crease down the centre. Now these seeds are tiny, really, really small. So I'm going to try and do this one-handed. I did do two. So just tap them in. As so, these just like to be on the top, I believe. 
go and see where they've been. Oh, I'll put some in here as well. I should have enough to sort out all five here. You can just sprinkle them over over a tray, but uh, when it comes to pricking out these, this seems to be an easier method. Like I said, I've never done this before, so we'll see how things go with them, really. Just like everything, all the rest of them with the flowers as well. And last one, before I open the other packet. Oh, it's just turned out great. There was probably still some seeds in there, so I'm going to open the packet, just sprinkle out the rest, and I'm going to fill, off the, fill up the rest of these ones. Okay, so that's the Lobelia sown. Just put them in here. And also, we two in here as well. I've marked them and taken a picture so I know what's what. Um, moving on to the geraniums now. Uh, so we have the F2 mixed here. Now it states on the back there's only 20 seeds in here. So I'm not going to be doing the same way for the Libelias. I'm following the instructions on the back as well. So thinly in trays of pots of seed compost. So just me normal standard here. Uh, compost mix what I'm doing um, there's only 20 seeds in here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick all of them out and I'm just going to do rows of five five rows of five so one two three four five one two three four so on and I'll, uh, I'll show you what it looks like before I push them put them in well silly me miscounted I didn't read the pack I thought it was 25 but there's not there's only 20 seeds um, my mistake anyways I've done four rows of five and I've actually getting one extra so Happy days. Um, so I'm just going to pop them in. I'm going to just push them down ever so lightly. And then just cover them up with some soil. That's on the top. So I'm just going to push them in like that. And I'm just going to just cover them over lightly, gently on the top there. Like I said in the past, the seed's just twice twice as, uh, twice as seed size for the coverage. It doesn't need to be pushed down very far at all. And then they'll... Uh, They'll get separated off that between 7 and 21 days when they start getting a little bit bigger. And that's what they'll turn out looking like. The young seedling. I like these packets from the Wilkinsons because they give you an idea of what it is. So if you've actually accidentally dropped something or something's coming up which you don't think it is, or maybe a weed or something like that, you can see that it's going to be a weed and you can remove it if you've never grown them before. So I'm going to carry on popping these in, then uh, that should be me done for the sown of these plants today so i'll catch you once i've done that okay so that's them so now i've uh, the, the compost is already damp so i don't need to water them and um, these are the geraniums geraniums will be going inside on my windowsill um as it's too cool outside for the geraniums um i've got the the labelia up here this one's a string of pearls um sorry the, the sapphire pendula and these ones are the string of pearls the ones yeah can't see because they're white in the stick. So I've got five trays on there, just the rows. Um, but yeah, I haven't got much room. I've got no room here again um, for anything. So I'm dreading popping on because <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Wait, well, what a day! I'm absolutely shattered. Um, so my grandma's come along his hand, and uh, we've getting. We've getting um, everything cut and everything made to measure and stuff like that, and we've got it in place at the moment. He's gonna have a, he's gonna have a wander down to the shop, go and get some uh, some sealant, some proper some proper fire sealant for the um, for the fire. I'll spin you around and I'll show you what we've managed to get sorted out so far. Then, so right, well, I was originally going to have the ah, oh, where have I put it? Ah, oh, it's not in here. I'm just put it away. Um, was originally going to have some little bit of rubber exhaust um, pipe from the fire itself to that pipe there, but when we've come to fit it together, we found that all we had to do really was. Oh, it's stuck on there, I can't take that one off. So, these are never coming out. Never ever coming out. So, when we just sit, sit these pipes on the top here. When I got to push it on, it was just these lugs on this this bit here stopping them from sitting flush with the tank section. So what we've done is we've just taken them off. And now that's us sitting flush along there. So we'll just need to clean it off here, apply some uh, apply some sealant along here, 
and that's that done because this isn't going anywhere and the same with along with the top as well the top one's a, it's a bit bigger I haven't damaged none of the threads and I think so in the future if I want to take them off and uh, which I will be I will be replacing them um, if I want to do it differently I can't do um, I just need to seal around this edge here and that's that done and that means I don't have to have stands holding the pipe work together so the pipe goes from the fire of course through into that room through there and into the tank now the thing that's taken most of the day to do is the holes here because I've used drill bits and I've popped the little holes all the way around then just knock the centre out then I've uh, cleaned out the edges so what needs to happen here it's slightly raised off the floor so it's slightly it's not level pop that on there so what the top one is um, but the bottom one we've got isn't this is the, the hot water when it heats up it'll circulate so it'll go along the top one along the bottom one and it'll circulate around and keep the water at a nice temperature so basically it's uh, the pipe works going slightly down this way and it's going down that way um, to help it uh, circulate around the tank now inside the tank I need to see, of course I need to seal these edges here for one of for the water but they're sitting nice and flush inside as you can see I've got the bottom bottom one there it's a little bit further than what this is got two different size pipes so stick that back on there and that's where that'll sit so that's where we're at with the, the fire at the moment it's not completed but the the base work the ground work's been done so we just need to seal seal the ends seal this end seal this end then it'll be a case of sealing that end and that end then uh, putting the water in and firing it up and seeing how things go with that so i'm pleased i managed to get that sorted out i mean it doesn't look like a lot of work to run out there, but uh, trust me it has been um we'll probably end up doing everything the long way around as well <laughs> which is normally like me um but it's come to an afternoon now i'm uh, I'm going home, so I'll uh, I'll catch us tomorrow, where I will be starting to pot some of these leaks up. Oh yes, these I forgot to show you these earlier on. So these are leaks, the pot leaks. They're the pot leaks from my granddad's seed. These are the ones that I put it in um, a little while ago. So I'm going to get these uh, and we'll separate these off into different uh, different pots shortly. Um, and then see how things go with them and of course the big ones at the back I need to pot them up which I'll do tomorrow I'll leave these uh, here overnight it's warm enough I've got the power from heater on so the frosts are going to hit from Tuesday onwards so I want to get basically I want to get the fire and everything in and done for Tuesday so I can get everything nice and warm in here because the power from heater does work it does keep the chill off but um, I'd rather have the fire on. <laughs> Good morning, it's Sunday morning. I've, uh, I've come down, I've been here for a few hours now, um, fixing on the, the tube and the putty stuff uh, for the fire. Um, I'll show you that now. I'll just spin you around and show you what I've used and uh, show you what I've been doing. So, what I've been using is some uh, Black Swan Safe Soft Plumber's putty. And what I've done here is, is put some on around the edge, push the pipe on, then I've put some on the outside um, and squeeze it together so it's as nice gap and there's no gaps on there neither as well. I did have a bit of a leak earlier on but that was because the pipe pop I accidentally pulled the pipe out before I filled it. Um but much of saw that no bother. Yeah, uh, same with the bottom as well, they've got the same and I filled up the, the way um I spotted a little crack. Um so I filled that up as well and that seems to be holding the water in fine now. I've got this filled up and I've got the fire on at the moment, um just as a test run. So on here, done the same as well at the tank end. So as you can see, I've got the the pipe on inside here. All I did was start from the inside. Start on this side, push the plumber's putty through the gaps, um, sealed on the inside as well. I don't know if you'll be able to see or not, uh, as you can see. Yeah, you can, yeah. So there you can see, I've pulled them off there, uh, thickened on the back. 
and I've also done the front as well and there's no leaks there neither. And like I've said in the past there's no pressure in this system and um, the air will just run, if there is any air it'll just run up the pipe and it'll just pop up on this side as well. So uh, I've got this filled up at the moment um, I've got the fire on, what, should, what I should see happening um, once the, of course once the fire gets a bit warmer and the water starts to uh, get hotter is the water should start circulating around so we should see some movement in this water which I, I'll show you uh, if and when it happens if there's no problems so I'll uh, I'll sign off, I'll see how long this is going to take the warm through see what needs to be done and I'll crack on so I've got the fire on for about 5-10 minutes now and uh, we have bit of a success I mean this is just a test run see how things go so as I first thought the water will recirculate up there and down the bottom pipe so the top pipe will be warmer first which it's starting to warm through there and as you can also tell by the tank itself the steam coming off the top and the water circulating around as it's been pushed through and sucked down from the bottom one so as soon as this gets warmed up as soon as this tank gets warmed up the bottom pipe will be start getting warmed as well and at the minute there's no there's no leaks so that's a good start um, for my test run and uh, so um, it's all looking good for the first, for the time being I'm pretty happy we'll see how things go um, I'll chop a bit more wood up and see how things go with that as well and then uh, we'll see, see how long it takes for this bottom pipe to get warm through as well well I've got a bit of a failure here um, water seems to be dropping down in the tank and it turns out I've got a bit of a leak um, I mean they can see it is working that's that's very hot that's still cool um, it is working but uh, I seem to have a leak I thought that was from the water before but it's not so a bit of investigation it's on the inside at the back so I'll have to wait for this to die down um, then I have to get in and try and solve it, solve it but at least there's no leaks on the pipework so I'm, it's one thing I'm pleased about but uh, I need to address that uh, the leak on the fire itself which I will do next time I'm down Right, I'm just going to quickly show you what I've done here as well because I wanted to get this done. I'm going to spend the majority of the time um, on the evening and first thing in the morning sorting the fire out when I get sorted out. Um, so I need to stoke it up and everything. So I've uh, decided to put the put the lights in here, the solar lights, the solar panels. So I'll flip you around and I'll show you what I've done here quickly. So I've got one there and I've got one there and they're both fed through down there. I need to sort this out of run up with staples. So sort them through as well, there to there. So when I come in in the morning now, or the evening, what I need to do is switch them on. And we have light there. And we have light in there as well. Right, well, I've managed to get them done. Uh, I'll have to leave the fire and see what happens. Um, it's still leaking a little bit. Uh, but I can't do nothing until the fire dies down and gets sorted out with that. But at least I know that uh, the pipes and everything work and the water works and everything like that. So uh, happy days. Um, I've also put the lights and things in here. So I've got the lights in, my char solar charger and everything's in here as well. I just need to finish off with them. Uh, I've, uh, I've hung these strawberry baskets down the back here as you can see. I'll just put them on there because they keep falling off from the hangers at the top. Uh, I've also spotted these in the highest since I potted in here. I got these bulbs cheap um, and I potted them in here and smell lovely. Smell lovely. This one's a pink one. I've got another two more here. This one looks like it's going to be a white one. And another one here. Which I don't know yet. Maybe blue one. I don't know. We'll see what happens. See what happens. But uh, some nice flowers coming along here now. But uh, so. That's me done for the week. Um, I've still got the onions to pot on. My granddad's leeks, uh, sorry, the leeks to pot on. I've still got my granddad's leeks to sort out as well. I'm going to sort one, one tub out, and the other tub I'm just going to leave. Um, but I'll do them next week. We'll see how things go. But uh, as of this week, I'm signing off for the week. 
thanks very much for watching it's been a bit of a higgly piggly week this week but uh i've managed to get some things i want to get done done i've also got a strawberry planter outside which i haven't showed yet i'll show you that in the next video and i'm going to pot up my granddad's strawberries that i've got given off them nice big strawberries they're going to be as well because i remember getting seeing them last year um and everything like everything else is coming up nice but i'll, like I say, I'll show you that next week because i think i've uh, there's a lot i've been uh, showed you a lot in the video this week um well just go home now and try and edit it down <laughs> so uh yeah i'm gonna sign off what are you doing thanks very much welcome to all the new subscribers welcome uh i welcome all the comments as well might have a visitor next week as well uh see how things are see how that goes um but yeah thanks very much for everybody for liking thanks very much for commenting thanks very much for all the new subscribers as well slowly building i'm pleased that he's uh he's like what i do but like i say i just do this for a diary so i know what's what and i can keep an eye and think what uh what i've planted and things like that which is uh, quite good i like looking back on my videos as well so it's not just you who's watching them <laughs> so yeah thanks very much what you are doing keep on plotting and i'll catch you next time see you